If you are interested in increasing the performance or extending the life of your laptop, you may consider upgrading your hard drive to an SSD. An SSD or solid state drive is made of flash memory instead of the traditional spinning platter in regular hard drives. Consequently, it's much faster and more reliable than a traditional hard drive. So, if you've had your laptop a few years and find your system slowing down and becoming less responsive, a Samsung SSD might be just what you're looking for. Before you upgrade your laptop, make sure you've performed the following steps. First, determine how much space you'll need on your new SSD. To determine how much space you're using, simply right-click on your C drive and choose Properties. Check the amount of space currently used and be sure to select an SSD that provides you enough space. Secondly, you'll want to make sure that you're running Windows Vista, XP, or Windows 7 and that your software is up to date. Finally, you want to make sure your PC has any important files or documents backed up. To do this, simply attach a flash drive or external hard drive and copy your most important files to the drive. Luckily, all Samsung SSDs ship with a full copy of the drive imaging software Norton Ghost, but you'll still want to take this extra step to ensure you don't lose any data if something goes wrong. It's also important to make sure that you have everything you need to get started. Samsung SSDs come with all the parts you need to upgrade your PC. You'll simply need to provide a screwdriver, and be sure to check all the parts before you get started, because you don't want to open your PC and then realize you're missing something. Now follow these steps to install your Samsung SSD. First, remove the power cable. Now, remove the battery to discharge the PC. Locate the drive cover, which should be labeled HDD, or refer to the user manual. Remove the screws and take off the drive cover. Gently remove the drive by pulling up on the tab or the drive itself. This procedure will vary depending on your PC. If your hard drive has a cover or bracket, be sure to remove it from the old drive and attach it to your new SSD. Now take your new SSD and replace it in the hard drive or the HDD bay. Then replace the drive bay cover and tighten the screws back into place. Now simply replace the PC battery and your computer's power charger. If you cloned your new SSD with your old hard drive before installing it, you can simply power on your PC as normal. However, for instructions on cloning your drives, refer to the included Norton Ghost software manual or watch our video on using this helpful software.